everyone welcome back in today's video i want to talk about a very simple but very very powerful back to sender you need to do if you are tormented by witches and wizards if you are tormented by evil people if people don't want to see you enjoy your life if people don't want to see you shine if people don't want to see you succeed Many of you struggle at the end of the day. The enemies will take glory of your hustling. What do I mean by that? They take everything you have struggled spiritually. You are just empty physically and spiritually. And you are here watching me. That is not your portion after watching this video. By the special grace of God, any man, any woman who has sworn with his or her useless life that you will never amount to anything, that you will suffer at the end of the day, they will reap it spiritually. Believe me, that person will go down for your sake. That person will not be on this planet before the end of this year. Mark today's date as you're watching this video. Mark the day you are starting this assignment and watch what will happen to that evil man or evil woman. This is a tested method. It has worked for me. It has worked for some other persons I have done this work for. So I say, let me share a minor one that most of you can do at the comfort of your home. And after doing this, believe me, some of them will come apologizing, some will come begging, some will die. Those ones that have sworn that they will finish you will die. We are no longer praying for them to leave. No, we are no longer. Before I pray for my enemies to leave, but the more they leave, the more they torment me. So let them go. I will come on their burial day and eat rice and drink alcohol. I will ensure I am high that day before I get home. So what do you need to do? Get this spiritual perfume. This back to sender. You are going to get sand. If you can get sand from your father's compound, fine. But if you cannot, get sand from anywhere on the road. Just get sand. And when packing that sand, do not pack with your bare hands. You can wear gloves hand gloves on your hand you can uh, use lylon or your hanky make sure you tie something before packing the sand don't pack with your bare hands get the sand a handful of sand is okay then get your bible you are going to be needing the word of god to pack it up yes god everything that is happening in this world is in the bible yesterday in church during palm sunday there is a particular place that was read in the church, I was shocked. These are things that are happening in real life. So I was even shocked to see that passage of the Bible talking about it. So to tell you that everything in this world, God knows. Anything that is happening to you, God knows about it. So it's left for you to tell God, I want this thing to end or I want it to continue. Always remind God of your points, of your prayer point. Always remind him of your problems. And in so doing, God will put an end to any situation that is not suitable to you because you are his child. So we are going to be needing Psalm 35 and Psalm 109. These two Bible verses will bury those evil enemies of yours. If you don't want them dead, you can equally pray for them to repent. It depends on you. Depending on the way they have hurt you. Yes, it depends on the way that if you have that forgiving spirit, oh, let them live, let them just repent. Good, it's still okay. But me, if you bring a knife to kill me, that knife will kill you first. That is me, that is 2024 prophecy for me. My own is, if you want solution empire to die, get ready to die before me. If you want me to live, I will always pray for you. I will live and enjoy this life. So get your Psalm 20, uh, 35. Get your back to send that or a perfume. Get that sand in the morning before speaking to anybody. Read this Psalm 35 and Psalm 109. Read it on your bed. Don't read it out. Read it inside your heart. Then when you want to bath, get that bucket of water. Put it in your bathroom. If you live in a public yard, you cannot be doing this inside public yard. Bathroom people are waiting for you to bath. But if you live alone, just like myself, Take your water to your bathroom. Stay there barefoot. Remove all your clothes the way God created you. Read some 35 inside that water. Add some drops of this uh, back to sender and some sand inside that water. 
read Psalm 35 and Psalm 109. Let me read some part of Psalm 35 so that you understand what I am saying. This is a prayer for help. Oppose those who oppose me, Lord, and fight those who fight against me. Take your shield and armor and come to my rescue. You are telling God to do that and God is giving you that shield. And some of you are saying, I don't want them to die. There is somebody that the brother-in-law wanted to kill. So during her consultation, I told her, she said yes, that that is why she's consulting me. And I told her, the work I'm going to do is about to send her. It might kill him. He said, oh, solution empire. Oh, I don't want him to die. I want him to repent and confess. I said, this person is too hardened. He has done a lot to you. But if you want him to repent and call my own back to send her, it might kill. I don't know. So it's not tomorrow. You say it's back to the solution empire that killed your brother-in-law. I don't, I'm not interested in the work. He said, okay, what can I do for, her, for him to confess? I told her what to do. So these are things. It depends on you. If you want them to confess, good and fine. If you want them to confess and die, good and fine. That is why some people will say they want to see you before they die. They will have to make the confession in front of many people. Then they will die. Somebody have done that to somebody in my family. He requested that he must see the person. And the person is very far away. They have to call the person on Skype. Those days there was Skype. I don't know whether he's still existing now. The WhatsApp has taken over so many things. They called that my uncle on Skype. And he spoke with that devilish person on Skype. That on video call. So when he said everything that was happening, that he was, read, he was responsible from everything, that my uncle very far away said, Uncle, even if God doesn't want to take your life, I will help take your life. So these are things. Somebody can hurt you. Even when God is fighting, you as if God is not fighting. God has not fought enough. You want to complete it for him. No, allow God to fight his own way after giving him instruction on what to do to your enemies. I tell God, any man, any woman that is standing my way, you will die. There is no mercy again. If I do mercy, no mercy again because they have taken so many people down feet to the grave. So no mercy for the enemy. Okay, read this psalm inside that water. Use it to take your bath with the sand morning and night. Do it for 21 days. Yes, 21 days. That is full calendar day. Spiritual calendar is 21 days. And watch how that enemy will live again. If that person, maybe God doesn't want him to die, he wants him to repent, he will repent and confess so that people will know that actually this person is bad. He has given his life to Christ. So pray and tell God what you want him to do to those people frustrating your life. Many people are miserable today because of one foolish person there tormenting you spiritually. So do this prayer for 21 days and please share your testimony. I love testimonies a lot. Thank you for watching and see you in my next one. Bye-bye.